Welcome back. So, welcome back. I hope you enjoy the beautiful sun again in Brussels. As you can see, we have a beautiful days for Expendio. Um, we will continue this afternoon. Um, we ended this uh, session this morning talking about the potential challenges to um, reach out to new users. Uh, the UPEC uptake is one uh, key uh, element of uh, the industry and the, what key actions that we want to support. That's why we decided to have this uh, lightning station in order to provide the opportunity to illustrate all uh, project ERSC is involved in or uh, initiatives uh, that we uh, started with uh, ECMWF is uh, aligned with this uh, objective, supporting the user uptake. Uh, it's my pleasure to, uh, to welcome uh, today here Irene Marino, who will present to you the project called Oceanids. Irene, the floor is yours. Thank you, Manuel. Uh, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. I hope you're not very tired after the lunch break. I'm Irene Marino from Geosystem Elas, and I will present you our project called uh, Oceanids. First of all, I would like to thank uh, the organizers for this opportunity and idea to present uh, our project in this uh, lovely audience. Um, it was my pleasure to see some of our partners and end users among the audience. So we have together uh, Nireus, and we have one of our end users, the Azores. Um, okay, so uh, long story short, the Oceanids project is an EU project funded by the Horizon Europe uh, uh, Research and Innovation Program. The main object, the, this project actually, is uh, dedicated to advancing climate-informed uh, maritime spatial uh, planning and uh, enhancing our understanding and uh, the management of uh, the coastal areas uh, through the Earth observation capabilities. The maritime spatial planning is uh, crucial in the sustainable development of uh, the coastal and uh, marine resources. By integrating meteorological and climate data, we can uh, make better informed uh, decisions uh, for the policymakers in order to mitigate uh, the impacts of the climate change in the coastal environments. The Earth observation uh, capabilities offer a wide range of uh, applications, as you already know. Um, these uh, technologies provide high-resolution data that can uh, be used to tackle the end user needs. And as we move forward uh, with this project, we are um, discovering and identifying many uh, needs of our, uh, of our end users. So this could be the assess of uh, some coastal hazards or the support on the um, disaster management uh, efforts. Um, by leveraging these capabilities, we can improve the resilience of our coastal environments and of our marine ecosystems. Our main focus on the Oceanids project is the ports and the coastal regions. So we have a large variety of um, end users. Uh, this uh, goes from the Mediterranean up to the Baltic Sea, and we go uh, to the Atlantic with the Azores. So you can imagine we have a huge geographic distribution. Uh, they showcase uh, diverse characteristics, and of course, they belong to different climate zones. So uh, by focusing on the specific needs of our uh, end users and uh, the coastal regions, we can optimize some ports operations, we can, we can tackle some of the, their needs and their uh, hazards, and of course, we can uh, support the sustainable development of these uh, coastal environments. 
The Oceanids project is part of the EU mission adaptation to climate change. Uh, as the coordination team, we are engaged in two different working groups. The one is the climate services, but the most important of those two is the stakeholder engagement. Uh, together with our sister projects, we are engaged in um, uh, creating collaborative um, strategies and tools in order to find uh, the optimal way of uh, engaging our end users. Um, so, yes, I work support the development of strategies and tools that will enable the coastal regions to become more resilient to the climate impact. Of course, Copernicus data uh, with the Sentinel missions and the services are there for us. We will make use of uh, some of the services, the marine uh, environment service in the atmospheric services and um, a lot of satellite data. Uh, we will um, ingest this, um, this data in our ocean data cubes. I won't dive into the details for that. Uh, this does not have to do with Expandeo, just to give you a, a brief overview. And we go to the most, to one of the most important parts. Um, so, how valuable the information from the Earth observation data are. Um, so that's why Oceanids is here. Um, the Oceanids project will showcase and uh, the power of the Earth observation data uh, in order to support the implementation of uh, policies and uh, strategies in um, for climate adaptation in cities and coasts. So here we are in the most uh, important objective for, of our project to share the Earth observation capabilities, the Earth observation data and services power with our end users and uh, stakeholders, policy makers. Um, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, so we will employ uh, various strategies uh, to ensure that the data and insights generated are accessible and uh, useful from uh, the right people. Um, of course, the public of uptake of the Earth observation data is one of the most important thing uh, because um, by supporting the implementation of uh, policies and uh, well-established strategies, uh, some commercial opportunities can, of course, um, uh, crea be created for the earth observation sector as well. So, um, just for um, a living message, the Oceanids is making significant strides in integrating earth observation capabilities into the maritime and management of coastal environments. We are currently in month six, so you can imagine we are trying to find the steps to move forward. We have uh, 27 months ahead. Uh, we have currently created our stakeholder engagement plan. Um, it was a bit, um, um, how to say, um, it was not very easy for me to showcase this uh, whole stakeholder plan uh, because it is composed of almost 10 to 11 activities. And um, a lot of us, uh, the partners involved, uh, we are responsible for to execute and um, well um, organize these activities in order to have a consolidated uh, outcome at the end of uh, our project. So our basic aim is to enhance uh, the resilience and the sustainable of our uh, coastal regions. I'm also inviting you to follow us on the, almost on every social media. You can find Oceanids. And uh, you can uh, be um, updated for our activities. And why not? We can create some collaborations uh, in the future. Thank you very much for your attention. That was it for me.